morning, chill ladies. My name is Jack, except the guy, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. We're going to finish out this episode this time, no matter how long it takes us to do. This is one of the longer episodes of these types of games that I've ever played. Normally they're normally they're like two hours max, either for a finale or something. But this one's like, like I said in the first part, this one's like three hours long, which is fantastic. That's a lot of game for the first episode, and I I imagine it's just for the first episode because there's a lot of new characters. Different war- well, same world, but different, like, different overall characters as well. Like, we don't really know any of the same people. My boys! You're out Look, on the road! It's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Yeah. You said things were getting better yesterday. <laughs> and the day before. I'm sorry, dude. Squad? I'm trying my best. That's all anyone Let's can ask of you, Shawnee boy. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. All right. Moron. Are you okay? Hey. Yeah. No. You just I was just thinking about when Harry Thompson wanted to beat. Oh, me I'm not the moron. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry, but he didn't like it. Squirrel. So he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry, you know, no. I should have listened. You did stand up for me. With Brett. For a change. Hey, there's something ahead. That's kind of yep. sweet. I mean. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Sucky that he didn't talk to his brother. Oh, I probably have messages from everybody that I haven't been reading. Um, didn't I? Ha oh, come on! I was just about to read the messages from Jen. People were saying that I had messages from her that I wasn't reading. God damn it! I have some condoms, though. That's great. There's my sick picture. Miss you, Dad. Oh. October 31st, 2016. Fucking road. Go back. No, we gotta keep moving. Where- where are we... Moving to, exactly? I picked up some leaves and a pine cone. And a vape pen. Shit, my phone's dead. I don't know Finally. if that's actually what it was, but... I thought we'd never get out of these woods alive. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. I'm so <sighs> sore in my you. back right now for some reason. Check the money in your backpack. Okay, we have $40.30. Water and... Plus a map. Utah? You're a long way from home, dude. I hear you. <laughs> We're gonna get food, water. Talking to yourself, man? Plus a map. Oh! So we can find the best route. Look at that happy right. little pumpkin with the bat hey, mouth. Hey, come on. I know what. It's weird. This will be my first Halloween away from home. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but. Tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. I hope. It's cool we found this place. Okay, you guys done talking? Last night was so cold. I don't even want to think about ice. I don't want to sit in the bench. I'm probably just going to make me draw, and I don't like drawing. Oh, we should get Spanish lessons! Nachos and cerveza? You sound like an expert douchebag. Oh. <laughs> but I love cervezas. Get me a modelo especial. No hablas espanol, no problemo. As an expert with over 10 years experience as a middle school Spanish teacher, I can have you ordering nachos and cerveza like a pro muy pronto. Hey, look. Yeah, okay, he does. They're gonna teach us Spanish. Este tipo es un idiota. Oh, oh God. Hi. <laughs> That's a great hairline you got there, buddy. I'm fine. I'm too young. In case of cougar attack, throw a 20-year-old male. Okay, that's neither of us. We're safe for now. Um... Maybe some other time. Hmm. There is only one true path, one true god. Damn right! Not on my Christian Minecraft server! I'm on it, hillbilly. Only $50. Oh, or we could give Bo. Body odor. <laughs> yeah. After the night we just had, I'll pass. Me too. 
All right, let's just, let's just, oh wait, let's see what it says in the newspaper. Squad. Oh, shit, they're still looking for us. The Northwest Post. Can't go back. Please search for suspects Sean and Daniel Diaz. Seattle shooting ignites protest. Can't let Daniel know. Not right now. Oh god, yeah, I keep forgetting that he doesn't know. And I'm curious if he's gonna find out in this episode, like that's how this episode's gonna end, or if... Sean? No thanks. I already have one. Sean? Yes? You see that sign? Warning? Y yeah well, What about it? All right Plus if we're missing somebody's bound to find us sooner or later, right? Hello there. Howdy. Whoa. Hey Sean, they have shot old crisp Okay, first it was Choco Crisp, and I was upset about it because it's pronounced. It look, the word is chalk, God, like chalk full of Choco Crisp. That, that makes sense, right? Now you're calling it Choco Crisp. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> that would have loved this so much. Oh God, don't remind us. The fuck did you call me? You say, did you say witch or bitch? Hmm. Never heard of that team. That means they don't exist. Don't power Bear! Power Bear in the backwoods. <sighs> More like power marketing. That was, um, the thing Captain Spirit was playing with. Hey, come see. It should be called Daniel's Cash Trap. Yes, let's rename the entire machine after your brother. She's staring at you. Right. I'll just bust out my platinum card. Okay, less of hey, your passive aggression, please. Here. Check it out. Look! Fine, we'll play. Hey man, check this out. <laughs> Everybody, check it out! Check it out! Come on down! Uh, can we play? I bet it's easy to get a prize. Yeah, no. See all those prizes still inside? Nobody wins. Except the machine. Oh. Except I'm about to but win hey, right now. We're the Wolf Brothers. Us teach this machine a lesson, oh. right? Yes. So, who goes first? <laughs> Let your big brother take the first shot. I'ma go first and win this bitch. Okay. Well, you better grab that prize. I'm gonna. Let me get in the zone. Okay. Here we go. Go. Here we go. Go. Grab that ball. Grab that. Almost. Son of a bitch. Beware Can I play? Please, Fine. Please, please. You get one go. Sure. We don't got a lot of money bet. though, so get that prize. Just watch me. <gasps> Use your telekinesis. Let's go. I keep forgetting that you have superpowers. Wait till you get a good opening. Not there. It sucks. Don't grab so fast. It's not up to him. This is hard. <sighs> Can you try? Okay, I'm trying one more yeah, time. Okay, let's see what I can do. I love yeah. my little brother. I want to be a good big bro. I don't have a little brother in real life, so. Tanacon. You got it. Come on, game. It's a bunch of bullshit, is what it is. Uh, can I play now? No, we're leaving. Sorry, buddy. We can't waste money on that kind of stuff right now. What? That's it? Yeah, I told you. Come on. Let's not waste time on that stupid thing. Not fair. Jesus. Just wanted one little power bear. I know, Daniel. But look, we're already surrounded by bears. <laughs> okay. That got really weird. There was such like a, a snap in dialogue. Wish we could join the crew, guys. Wish I could be a trucker. My on pupper road cred. Did I just steal that? Okay, I think I just stole. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You'd had to. No tourist is gonna do this shit. No. Ooh, mayonnaise. That's what you need in a good road trip. 
Mayonnaise and windeline. I hope Halloween isn't ruined for Daniel by all this. <laughs> hope Halloween isn't ruined for my sweet baby brother because our dad is dead. Lila would love that. Halloween. For a dozen DIY favorite journal of fun. Does anybody have a charger? I need to charge my phone. Oh. Mm, hot dog. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, Six dollars for two hot dogs? <laughs> yes, like please. It. That's kind of expensive. Squad. I could eat dozens of these. Well, you only get one. Now I'm acting like the dad. Oh. Just ketchup? Dude, you gotta put a little I'm too nervous to drink mustard on it. Do not drink that coffee. If you like coffee. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no. I don't mean... I mean, it's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just... naked. <laughs> I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? No, nobody. Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Name's Brody. Saw it. Kind of an online traveling journalist. Kind of a big deal. Sean. Everyone's talking about it. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. <laughs> There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Yeah, we're on the road, going south. Good for the for winter. You. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. <laughs> Thanks, man. Safe travels, Brody. See you around. What the hell was this? He's looking at nudie pictures. Dude. Dude. Sixty-nine ninety-nine. I, I can steal things. Ooh, Sean, check it out. It's a raccoon costume. I want to be a raccoon. Okay, I'm gonna buy a sleeping bag. It's expensive. But I can't let Daniel freeze. Exactly. Then he'll turn into Mr. Freeze. Shit. Okay. We could just camp out in here. <laughs> Maybe Dad will give it to me for Christmas. Oh! Forget it. Oh man. Daniel would love that thing. I'm not gonna steal Way things. Oh, the tent hey, would be great. What about that? We could use that. I know. We could live in that. But there's no way we can pay for it. What's that? <laughs> What's that? A puppy! A puppy! <laughs> exactly! Yeah. It's a dog. Oh! A puppy! Sure. A puppy! Super cute doggy. You ready? Is this yours? No. Just another stray. <gasps> He's stray. Oh, Can we keep him? He must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? Please? <laughs> Let me think. So cute. I don't know. It's a pretty huge responsibility. I know, uh, but our dad's dead and we so deserve cool. some nice things. Come on. We need adults to take care of her, not kids. I know. I'm an adult. I just thought we could. I'd love to. She's right. We can't take care of a dog right now. You know, with our dad being dead and all. Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> Who sends postcards? Boring. I had to basket 450. Daniel will scarf this down. Okay, so we've. Okay, it's not. My money's not going down. Um, I'm Daniel. So what exactly Seriously, are you doing? All who's the way buying all these wooden it's bears? A secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds intriguing. Did you make all these bears? Oh no, 
I won't take any credit for the bears. That's all on my husband. The Berenstein bears. He won't stop making them. Oh, no matter how much I beg. Oh, I think they're so cute. Got a map, y'all. I know exactly where I'm going now. Does. Wish I could send Lila a postcard. Like a regular holiday trip. I mean, you can. We can't make a fancy sandwich. But we sure can't eat bread like hard. a duck. Um... Okay, how, can I check how much my stuff is? I don't know. Let's let's add to basket. Let's see what we can take. Did you just say I gotta get one of those for my room? You know what my room is really missing? A pop of water. All right, let's buy this stuff. Hello. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah. It's the whole job lot. I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. Please have enough. I wasn't. And there's the damage. I wasn't calculating. Yeah. Oh my God. Ouch. Okay. We got that. I got this, Manny's. Thanks much. Welcome, Manny's. All right. Here's your change. Cool. Thanks. I have forty cents left. Yikes. Whoa, that was weird. Um, at least we got some stuff. I mean, I could steal a tent, but how would that look, you know? Pretty sweet. Hey, Daniel, can you make all the knives float with your mind? That'd be dope. Yes. Can I help you? Have you seen my dad? You don't look like you're from around here. What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> We're camping. Yeah? Where? I, Over there. I can't remember the name. It's not far. So where are your parents? Oh... Um... Well, my mom... Left. According to Brett, he said my mom... Walked out. Did he? Somebody said that. Um... Our dad is, uh... I know we're with our friends. Uh oh, we're with our friends. Pretty fun. By yourselves, all the way out here. Yep. Come, come here, all. Short field trip. Oh, it's no big deal. Um, just a short field trip. We're not that far from home. Well, didn't mean to grill you. Just making sure you're okay out here. I could use a tent. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Wow. Did something interesting happen here? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's my husband up there. He built this place 30 years ago. Yep. Who's the guy with him? Is that supposed to be someone famous? Yep. That's a famous Hollywood director or something. <laughs> He made a show up here, but we don't watch TV. Nice man. Don't think he liked our coffee. Uh, neither did Brody back there. He was looking at nudie pictures, and even he told me not to drink it. Hmm. I also like... Er, Sean is so condescending all the time. He's such a, like, passive-aggressive person. Just be like, why, is this supposed to be some kind of famous person? What is, who's in that picture? Come on, buddy, we don't need that. Let's get out. I'm willing to adapt to their idiosyncrasies. What the hell? Oh man, did I miss a chance to talk hey, look, to a family? Empty table. Oh, let's grab it and check out this map. Chet, 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 to check it out. There might be some leftovers in it. Ugh. Not while these people are here. Don't want to freak them out. Okay, broken game. They're not here. Ooh, let's go into the bathroom. Hey, come on in. Let's wash a little. Oh, I'm coming. Squad. Sink, toilet paper dispenser. Clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Ah, oh. I know. So wash fast. There's no one questioning the fact that the kid cut up his shirt for Halloween and now he's covered in blood. Okay. Blood. You're done. Who would know? 
Wow, my two special fresh boys. Are we good to go? You got Pete? Or do you need to? No, nah, it's okay. I went in the woods just before we got here. Cool. How are we looking? Oh, shit. My face. <laughs> you look older, dude. I don't know what to tell you, man. You always look like that. Nice. Free water for us. Nice. Stop watching me, perv. <laughs> He's just like, hold a paper. You want some? You want to wipe your butt? All right, we good? Oh, please don't let nobody have taken the table. Yes. I. Right. Let's get down to business. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's see. What do we got here? This is a ton of food. I thought we were broke. We are now. So let's scrub out. This is our treat. Santa? Later, Brody. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> Unless you got a 20 year old to throw at them, apparently. But good looking out, Brody. Later, squad. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. <laughs> I hope I can read pictures. Is this supposed to be Washington? Oh, they're so sweet together. I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. Uh... We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Where is that? Okay, so that was there. Are, are we here? All right. This is it. Are you sure? <sighs> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Oh, but it looks cool. <laughs> Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Okay. Hey kids, looks like you're out camping. I don't like this. Oh, yeah, just going over trails and stuff. Are you a pervert? Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh. Oh, is that the husband? Sir, we paid for this, and the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Oh, the fucking phone, this worse buddy. For yourself, kid. Oh, I will. What is this dude's problem? I'm not gonna run away. I'm already on the run. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack. Let's talk this out, okay? I paid for my shit. Uh. Excuse us, sir. We were just hiking. I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. So this is where if come you on. stole some uh, shit that this guy would come out and then... We have to get going. Sean? Uh, You'd have to run it, away? It's okay. Look, our our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Um, let's go. Don't touch me. Don't do it, boy. Let go. Uh, Jesus my brother. fucking Christ. What the fuck? What is this dude's deal? He just slapped a child and punched a teenager. Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, maybe he recognizes us. Oh, I ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. 
What the fuck? This is where I would like Chris Hansen to come I? in, please. And ask somebody to take a seat. Oh shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem. I paid for so my now. things. Hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. What? How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. Oh, he does know. Saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. <laughs> I'm American. Mm. Jesus Watch fucking it. Christ! Whatever. You're going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him, you think I'd hurt a little boy? Jesus, those lines. If you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though, that's real safe for a little kid. You think I'd hurt a little boy? You already slapped him in the face and punched me and kicked me in the He's face. Lucky he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go, please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. <sighs> okay, now I get it. So it's a racial thing against Mexicans. I get it. Subtle game. Fuck's sake. Come on. It's only plastic. Fuck. This shit. Got dark real quick. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it's locked. Damn it. Uh, wonder if I could get more light from it. It got real dark real quick. You can't reach that from there. You're a long one, but you ain't that long, boy. Oh, squad. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Uh, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to figure out how I get out of this. Ooh! Cardboard tube! You can reach that! Y yes, there you go. Yes. That's a little better. Light! Oh, am I- oh, I'm able to shimmy! A shimmy shim. Yeah, we get it. You're the perfect American. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, we get it. You have a family. Wooden bear. Sean. Daniel? I'm right here. Are are you okay? Uh, Use your superpowers, blow the wall down. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, and I don't you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Hey, you think you can open the back door? I don't know. Think you can open the back door and have poop? Damn it. Here's little shoes. It won't open. It's locked. What do I do? I don't know. Let me think. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Oh. Sorry, Sean. That's okay, little buddy. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Um. 
You could try and come in through that door, but that's weird. Um, There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. I like the little rain sounds on his shoes. Hey, bud! It is. But be careful. It might attract him. He's like a moth. He just wants a lamp. Um... Ooh. Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Telekinesis, telekinesis, just mo ooh. Yes. Tear this fucking thing off. Here we go. Right. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys. Hi, Daniel! But I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me the something. The old man already sturdy. left. Like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? Inano, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. I don't know what okay, Inano okay, means. I'm Was it Hiho? That he said in the first episode, which meant sun. <laughs> Hi, Sean. I can't see the blood in your face if the light's all red. That's actually really creepy. <laughs> Sean, uh, I found something. What'd you get, little buddy? Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. Okay. 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 That is a file or a chisel or something. Why would you use that to tear the thing off the wall yeah. and not just use it to take Don't the fucking worry. thing off? Come on. Let's do this. Oh, okay. I have to keep clicking. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes. Good job, bro. Just use it to rip the plastic. Okay, move the couch. Sorry, couchy. I have some plans. Get out of my way. Come on now. Is this Ikea? It's very nice. What now is that I grab these keys. Oh wait, yeah, shit, I can't use my hands. Come on, you mother. Yeah! Score! Yeah, damn right, you mother. All right, are we go. You do it. Here, here. Come on. Okay. Dude, we're Hold like on. super awesome best friend bros. Come on. Come on. Yes. Daniel. Sean. Oh God, I was so scared. What happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay. We need to cut this off. Fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta get my stuff. Aw, oh, squad boys! Oh, fuck. Oh fuck. What what happened? Oh fuck. What what did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. Oh boy, steel camping gear, leave. I'm not a stealer, but I've already committed a crime here. <laughs> um, and I'm all over CCTV. Oh, what do I do? I really want my special boys to be safe and sound, but I'm trying to think through the scenarios of like, okay, if the police ever come and they find me and they look at the surveillance, even they'll be like, what the hell happened? 
whatever. Move it. Let's go. Oh, there you no. go. I'm gonna be cold and wet. I'm happy he's fucked up now. Come on. Hopefully he's Wait. not dead. We can still hide in the Shit. woods though, and we have a sleeping bag and. Watch out! Over there. Uh, let's go. I don't know. Just a random. Oh, it's Brody. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? Uh, you don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. We're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude. No more. I believe you. Okay. Shit's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Oh, Brody's nice. Hurry up before he catches us. Good at Brody. <laughs> Brody is out like a fucking bat out of hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, that was all types of messed up. I'm still not convinced by Sean's voice actor. There's some lines that come out that feel really bad. And for a game of this size at this point, like the following that this game has, feels like they should have slightly better voice actors in it. I was having a shitty day. <laughs> what? I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started to earlier, but I bought too much stuff just <laughs> to piss him off. That'll show him. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. More Bigfoots than Mexicans. Maybe let's not say that one. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. It's true. Sometimes maybe too much. It is very well, dark. Don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. The puppy! <sighs> yeah! Oh my god, we used to have a dog that looked just like her. <laughs> We're heroes! <sighs> yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so... What should her name be? Yawny. Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Good name, good name, um, good name. Mm, how about... Uh, mushroom. She totally looks like a mushroom. <sighs> it's kind of cute, but I don't want our dog to be called Mushroom. <laughs> Come on. That's not even a name, dude. But I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Okay, okay. <laughs> you win. <laughs> but this one's on you. Dog's Ooh, name is yeah. Mushroom. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. <laughs> You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. What? <laughs> nice. Also, Daniel is freaking adorable. <laughs> this is also really weird without the licensed music in it. Um, unless there's not supposed to be music here, I don't know. Ooh, look at his eyes. Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But... 
No soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites. Hell yeah. Do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. My kind of guy. Never. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. I'm 14 and this is deep. How do you make money? Ever get lonely? Are you famous? Ever get lonely, I think is a cool question. Man, that sounds cool. Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Uh, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. It's true. Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Well, now you got a story for your blog. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh, I'd be like my family. Uh, End of the day, we have to watch out for each other. Uh, right? You asshole. <laughs> yeah, you did watch out for us. How many of you yawned Thank at you. home? Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. As long as you don't crash hard because you're driving, oh, we'll be fine. Good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. I Traveling like Brody. By night is kind of mysterious. Please don't be a secret murderer, pedophile, something. <laughs> Please be nice. Oh god, silence. Um, please, please be a nice man, Brody. Please be the guy we deserve and love and really want to be friends with. <laughs> oh! My freaking heart! <laughs> this is so awkward. But it's still better than having to deal with copyrights and strikes and claims and companies and everything. Such a pain in the ass to go through all that. What if the episode just ended there? It better not just end there! Okay, good. North Oregon coast, three hours later. Wait! Are we heading, like... Isn't this in the direction where Arcadia Bay is? Are we just gonna end up heading back there? That was in Oregon, right? Ah, shit, now I can't remember. Someone peeing! Good shit, Sean. Or should I say good piss? Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Is it Arcadia Bay? Hey, listen. So confused. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. I mean, I was beating up Brett, but... My dad getting shot was not my fault. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Is 
it even a town? Listen. Maybe I just want it to be I'm Arcadia really Bay. I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. Thanks, Brody. He said that to me. How? My life feels like... Like that town down there. Okay. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. So that like means... I nothing. Oh, hold on. So that is Arcadia Bay. Wiped out. What is sure Gone. is... That's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. A puppy. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean. At some point, you're gonna have to tell him. Yeah. Wait, I was gonna say, I didn't want to interrupt their talking, but that means that... I'm curious to see what if your other outcomes, like if you... Because Life is Strange Season 1, or Life is Strange 1, has two outcomes. You either save Chloe, and then Arcadia Bay gets destroyed, or you pick Arcadia Bay, and... Chloe dies? Was that the way it worked? I can't remember. Um, so that means that my ending is canon, but is that... Does that happen for everybody then? Or does it depend on what outcome you picked last time? Because at the start of the episode, or the start of the whole uh, Life is Strange 2, it asked me which one I did, because I don't have the save file I did um, on this computer that I did. I played it on a different computer when I played the first season, so... Hmm. I know. I just have to find the right time. I'm gonna go look on YouTube for that. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. Of course not. You have to tell him his dad so is dead. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was... Thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. Should I go back or should we keep going? It's kind of same sort of question, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but should we just keep going till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do. Yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town. Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay. So you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Hit the road with Brode. So they still have and said, For all the souls lost in Arcadia Bay storm, October 11, 2013, time won't Listen, forget about you. I'll drop you by a motel. <laughs> time won't forget about you. Come on, game! You guys could use some time. For we yourselves. remember what happened. Damn. That's crazy. I'm glad that there was a nod back to it. So, 2013, so this is three years after the storm hit in Arcadia Bay. It's all coming together. Wonder if Max or Chloe will ever actually show up in the series. That's pretty. I'd love like a go. Oh. I'd love a big old like time <laughs> plot thing to kick off like 
Your mom was actually Chloe, but... Or Max, but because she's time power, she's from the future. So, something like that. I like um, sci-fi. No. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> God, they're so cute. Can I draw it? Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Uh, guess I could play a little with these two. Let's play fetch. Why not? Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. I don't think the pup's Go gonna, gonna play. Oh my god, yes, throw throw the grenade. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay, so I can't throw it any closer than this. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. Go, Mushroom, go! Look, you're doing so good! Oh god, you're so cute! <laughs> she knows how to play good fetch job. already! I think we need a frisbee. Uh, a flying disc? Uh, frisbee is a type of brand? Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch! What's up, bread? Mushroom, get that stick. Throw it Looks into like the grass. These two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out, and some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. Oh, Brody's a good it's man. It's right there, room ten, on the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. What? But I need to check my message from Jen. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to- you're not leaving? Are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Brody's the fucking man. Feels good. Brody's part of the squad, dude. Oh, Here, squad? looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. <gasps> and it's always kept me safe. Bandana. Now it's yours. Cool. Wrapped around your head like a kung fu um, warrior. Do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like Even better! Like official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Oh, she's so cute! Okay. Oh, I want a dog! Time for me to hit the road again. Is she a Springer hey, Spaniel or a German so Pointer? You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> bro hug from the bro dog. Oh, my boys! She could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road. But until then, take care, my dudes. My dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Bye, bye, Brody. Yep, there it is. Arcadia Bay, Portland, and Seattle. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Oh. 
I don't want to hit my sack. <laughs> the Three Seals Motel. I don't think you're going to be allowed to bring a dog don't in. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. I got you, squad. God, the graphics are so much nicer. New item added to inventory. Sleeping bag and a note. Brody's letter. Sean, I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. I'm sorry that I can't take you further, but there's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it, dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer, and I have to be there. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together, eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things... A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when not driving. Been a while since I've used a pen. Hope you decipher. Oh, Brody's such a good man. He helps so much. Brody souvenir. AFK. Oh, Brod. We're gonna miss you, Brod! Oh, wait. I keep doing that. Hello, real world. Almost broke, but needed those supplies. Hello? Wait, I should just do this. Hello, real world! Almost broke, but needed those supplies. Now to check out how lost we are. Weirdo, but cool. Nosy bitch, but that... Oh. Put that fire the fuck out. <laughs> it's, it's Yogi Bear! Only you can prevent forest fires. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit, crazy racist played sheriff and trapped me in, a sh in this shithole. Daniel saved my ass. Kid is brave AF. WTF happened after. Earthquake? Bumped into weirdo while running away. He saved us. He's awesome. Call. Don't call the bro dog. A weirdo. Feeling safe since the first time since Seattle. Thanks to Brody. Also, we picked an odd mushroom on our way out. Probably a bad idea, but whatever makes Daniel smile again. I still have to tell him. At least now I know where we're off to. Puerto Lobos. R.I.P. Arcadia. Fuck tornadoes. Yeah, fuck tornadoes. Damn, we've come such a long way. Are we end up just gonna come all the way down through here? Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Okay, good. Uh, you said it was room. You think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Netflix. Mm. This is some motel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Oh my god, such real world terminology. Should I just go straight in? Fucking God, my heart. Ooh. My squad heart. Wow. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. Finally, I can charge my phone. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, <laughs> but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Wanna play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but- I'm a master, bro! Ready? I am so ready to beat you. Uh, rock. Always go rock! I won! Damn it. <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. I wanted him to win. And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. <laughs> the dog is out again is. already. I surrender. All right. I'm going to run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, There's my I'll hot right dog, here. man. Of course you will. On TV? Oh, cool. Hot dog man is on. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> there for it is. everything, Brody. I'll oh. be extra careful. I'm glad they take out the note episode. here so you can read it again anyway. Weird, it's on so late. 
<laughs> yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. <laughs> I can see why they left that Cool! Time. A oh. cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. I thought it was like a Makes credit sense. card or something. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. See, like this kind of stuff. That whole closet is pretty- well, unless it comes back later. Like, that whole section is pointless. I know some people like Nothing flavor dialogue and everything, but... My head after this mess. I don't know. Okay, I still have no idea how to do this. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Is there a way to, like, know if I'm doing it right? There must be, right? Okay, I don't know. I- I never know. I still can't see what the hell I'm supposed to be looking at. Damn. Foreshortening this bitch. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. I'm sorry, bro. I wanna- I wanna continue things. I don't wanna be sitting down doing... Doing shit like this. Should I? I should run the bath for you. I'm- I'm worried that if I just sit down and watch- Ah, oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's sit and watch TV with my little so, bro. What's up? The buns want to catch hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah. You the giant me? meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> man. It's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Hey, watch your mouth, kiddo. It feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> oh, my phone's True. vibrating. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Oh, that was really sweet. Oh, it's not my... I thought it was the phone that was making noise. That's the lower volume. Nah. Let's put this in the bathroom for Prince Daniel. Look, it's Hot Dog Man. It's pronounced Hot Dog Man. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Bubble bath. Okay. Fill her up. Fill her up, bud. She getting warm? Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. A nine-year-old knows what a condom is? Is that just a way of life now? Like, dude. Do, do nine-year-olds out there right now know what condoms are? I had no idea what a condom was when I was nine. I feel so sad for kids like these days, growing dirt. up with the internet. Like, there's no mystery Shower or secrets again, left in anything place. anymore. I'm such an old man. <laughs> Damn. That fucking retinic hit me hard. Your face is Turned all the mangled. Oop, there's a bubble. Uh-oh. Is the bath getting too full? I think we can close for now. It's not really enough water, but whatever. Look at all those bubbles. Hey, Daniel. Bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. How about it? So There's no time to lose. Oh. Hey, you smell too. I know. And I'll hop oh in after. Oh, my God. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking the <sighs> bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Sweet boys. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. No, I want to check the messages first. 
Time to say goodbye to modern life. Are you guys okay in there? I hope so. <sighs> Shit. Where are you? I'm worried. Lila's Please come back. Out. Please keep asking Maybe questions. Maybe I should leave her out of this. Or she'll get into trouble too. Oh, I really want to call her. Oh, I want to call her just for the fact that she's my favorite character in this episode so far. And I want to hear what she says, and I want her to know she's everything's okay, but the police will ask her questions, and... Screw it! I'm calling Lila. I like her. She's cool. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. Oh. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Oh. Maybe you could come back. I wish I could, but... I don't think a trial against a police officer is going to go down too well. You know I wish I could, but... We can't take that risk. They're... They're gonna put me in juvie. And Daniel... Oh shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. This is so sad. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. Oh, no. That was so sweet. That phone call is going to come back and bite me in the ass later, isn't it? But that was worth it. At least now she has some sort of peace of mind. Okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And action. Daniel, get your butt in here right now. Oh, what? Dad. What did I do? You forgot to open this present. Papito. Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, <laughs> check out your face. Wait, what? I don't want to throw the phone away. What is it? Daniel, let me help. Looks bigger than underwear. Oh, what? No way. Can't believe it. The new Playbots? Thank you, Santa. Hey, don't look at me. You were a good boy this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dad was the boy, sweetest Daniel. man ever. This is for the whole family too, right? So you got to share with me. I want to play that game. Uh, where you steal cars and go on high-speed pursuit. <laughs> Dad, you totally suck at games. Oh yeah, track star? I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. No. So duck! Ow! No fair! <laughs> you guys, don't crush the playbook! These boys. Hey, let's I'm gonna listen up. to all of this. Dad, come on! Ow! Okay, my ball now. Watch out! <laughs> Merry Christmas, kids. <laughs> oh, Dad. 
I guess that's the end of it. Okay. That was good. Good throw, squad. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, this Don't fucking kid. It. Just tell Daniel the truth. Shit. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance. I guess we can't hear the sun. Let's. Just... You gotta do it, man. Band aid off. Just. It's not easy, but. Man, I, I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now. You said I could have a coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Oh, dude, you just gotta Seriously. do it. Fine. What's the big deal? <sighs> you can't keep putting it off forever, man. It's gonna be so hard to talk with Daniel. Oh, the vending machine right there. I thought I had to go down for some reason. Let's go get the soda first. Please don't tell me something's gonna interrupt this. Or when I come back, he's gonna be... I was gonna say dead. I meant to say asleep. Jesus. There's no Cokes. Is Daniel asleep? Dad! Yep. Daniel. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh my god. Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Dad! Oh, he saw it on the news. I fucked up, and a cop shot him. No. No. It's not true. I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You could have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. It's not fair. Hey, come on. I'm here. Aww. It's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> I, I want that. <sighs> Me too. Oh, my boys. We were gonna see death. I'm sorry. I just. Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise. I promise. I won't lie to you again. I promise. <laughs> I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. <laughs> what are we going to do without him? Shh. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. 
Oh, you guys. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? Gotta teach you how to use those powers, boy. I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'll tell you the story of the squad and the boy. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but, but one day, hunters took their dad away. You dude! This is not a nice now story. The brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey to a great big Is that going to be it? West Coast America is really pretty. I just did tour there and I did like the Seattle, Portland, all that kind of area. Denver, Albuquerque, Arizona, California. Like that whole coast is gorgeous. He always falls asleep in cars. Sleep squad. Oh, sweet brothers! It's the family shit that gets me, man. It's really pretty. The, the visual upgrade in the game really adds a whole lot to it. Like, the environments are better, but the... The character models are so much better animated and everything now, which is really nice. To be continued! Yeah! Oh, episode one, Roads. Nice. That was good. I like that a lot. Um, I think, like, you, you heard me at the start of the, the first part that I wasn't sure if I was going to like the game because a lot of the promotional material and stuff that they were releasing, I just wasn't that into the idea of having different characters. And I thought, if you're going to do Life is Strange 2, because Life is Strange before the storm, it's like you, you give it a subtitle because that means it's like a different narrative. Usually when stuff has subtitles, it means that it's not part of the original story. And then calling it Captain Spirit meant that, oh, I get it, it's not really part of, it's part of the world, but it's not part of the continuous story. So when they called it, um, Life is Strange 2, I was expecting Max and Chloe again, because Life is Strange 1 is them, you get it. But when I found out it wasn't them, 
like many people, I wasn't that happy about it, but I was pleasantly surprised. That was really, really good. I think having it be brothers going through a family crisis like that ma makes it a lot better. Like, my god, life is strange, people. You have something about killing dads in these games. Who hurt you? But, um, having it be two brothers going through the loss of their family and putting them out on the road together, that that's something that's strong. That's something that has a lot of potential for a lot of dramatic moments, has a lot of potential for, like, being run down and figuring out what we're going to do and, like, hammering them down and then just, like, builds up the, the familial bond a lot stronger. So I think in regards to story and character and everything, I think that that's a lot stronger than anything Max and Chloe had going on. Um, and it's a lot more grounded, despite the fact that he still has powers and everything, but everything that has happened in this feels like, it feels very natural. It feels like that this is the kind of stuff that probably could actually happen. I think the, I think the racial aspects to the game, about like the cop pulling out his gun against, I, I think what they were going for was the fact that they're Mexican. And hearing the character in the third episode talk about building the wall and also reinforcing that racial aspect to it makes me feel like that that's what they're going for. It feels very heavy-handed. But at the same time, that is kind of the world we live in. Sometimes people are that cartoonish in real life. Sometimes people are that racially driven and say outlandish things like that and are really over the top and really violent and very aggressive and that kind of stuff. So, and I, I don't know what it, what it feels like to be a minority going through life and having to deal with these types of scenarios based on your the color of your skin or your, your racial background. So, I can't really speak to the whole... Um, the whole accuracy of that, especially growing up in, like, Seattle, America. Like, I I would have no idea what that's actually like. But to me, it felt like it was a bit too on the nose sometimes. But, you know what? They're, they're going for something. And, and they're trying. And it's in there. So, we'll, we'll see where they take it and what happens with it. Um, now that we're on voice talents, I'd say that the, the voice acting is probably the weakest aspect of this one. This episode, at least, because some characters were decent. Like the dad was really nice. Um, the guy who did Brody, I think, was really good. But some of the other characters, the kid who does Daniel's voice, him being a kid, kind of kind of eases it a small bit. But he he was really good. I liked him a lot. He he convinced me. But the the guy who did Sean's voice, I wasn't really convinced by. And also, the sound design merges lines together sometimes really quickly or. It's like a certain take goes after cert another take that you can tell that they're two separate sessions or two separate takes. It doesn't feel like they flow together. So some of that stuff I feel like enforces the, the voice acting a small bit and kind of makes it stand out a small bit more. And for a game of this size, for a game of this sort of following and a game that's this popular by now, I feel like may maybe hire people who can do like really good voices and everything. because. Okay, I don't want to liken it to Telltale stuff too much because Telltale went out of business and everything for mismanaging finances and things like that. But their voice acting has always been phenomenal. Um, and I think that, that these games can have slightly better voice acting. Or maybe there's something going on in the background that I don't know. Um, and I'd like to look up something about the voice actors or why they chose these people and everything. I don't want to just say it's bad and that's it. There's usually more to it. Um, but... I mean, at the same time, it's not it's not bad. It's just something that stands out. I don't want I don't want to try and shit on it or say that the voice actors are bad or anything like that. That's not what I'm trying to say. And I'm sorry if it comes across that way. Um, what I'm saying is that everything else is up to par and everything else is fantastic and great and I enjoyed it all. It's just when the line when the lines kind of stand out, it's really obvious. So that was like the only thing that kind of caught my attention. Um, but overall, really good. I, I'm very much excited to see what episode two is going to be. Um, and I'm glad Don't Nod are, are still hanging in there, and Don't Nod are still making these types of games. And hopefully they can make up for the, the lack of Telltale that's going to be in our lives moving forward. Maybe they'll even hire some of the Telltale people. I, I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. But I'm glad that these types of story-driven, choice-based games are still out there. Um, and I wish them the best going forward as well, because it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to make games like this and try and get people to buy them, because it's... It's a very linear kind of experience. But again, 
choices. The choices matter. If you're making choices and they don't end up making any sort of difference towards the end of the game, that that's going to be a problem because then people can just like come to a channel like this and watch them online and realize that, oh, well, nothing really changes by the end of it. And that's where I think a game like Detroit did really, really well because the choices in that game really mattered and had huge knock-on effects to a lot of the stuff that was happening in that and really affected the endings. So I think if these types of games want to like continue existing, they need to start changing that formula a small bit and injecting some of that into it. It's a very, very hard thing to do. So I understand on a time schedule if you can't do that, but I don't know. I'm just trying to understand everything that goes down in these types of games. And it's something that's kind of been on my mind and I've been reflecting a lot on recently. Hearing about Telltale going under and not being able to release some of the games that are coming out and trying to understand why people weren't buying them as much and why people weren't... I don't know. It's a hard thing to understand and at the end of the day, I'm a consumer more than anything else. I play the games, I'm a fan of the games, I don't know the ins and outs of game development. So I'm not just gonna sit here and preach like I do or act like I know better than everybody else. It's a one-way conversation right now because I'm saying it to a camera and I don't have anyone bouncing off me for counterpoints, which I would really love to do and debate this out and talk about it and actually have a conversation about it, so... That's where you guys are going to come in in the comments and interject your your stuff. I'm always down to, to talk about these things and everything I say. While, while I have my own opinions and I'll stick by my own opinions, I am not completely blind and narrow-minded to think that I know everything that is supposed to happen. So it's always nice to have input from other people and to listen and open up a dialogue and talk about these types of things. And it, like I said, with the, the racial stuff in the game as well, like, I, I just don't know. I, I'm just coming from my experience playing the game, so... It's the type of stuff that would be really cool to sit down and talk to people about. I'd love to sit down with the developers. I'd love to sit down with the writers of a game like this and just, like, hash it out and see what they were going for and things like that. It'd be really fun. Um, I'm just kind of hanging out till the end of the credits to see if there's anything extra at the end. I thought the credits were going to end by now, but I guess not. Hey, you can speed up the credits if you want. I didn't know that. Thanks for playing. For our dear friend and colleague, Michael Sherlock. That's sweet. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot that we had to check decisions as well. Uh, 46% of people kept the Choco 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 Crisp for ourselves. Uh, you lied to Esteban. You told the truth to Esteban, our, our papito. Um, 81% of people did that. You hugged him. 90% of people did that. Of course they did, because he was the sweetest man alive. You stole money from the jar. 20% of people- yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Um... I mean, it helped out in the end because I was able to buy more stuff for the two of us when we were out on the road, but again, I think it's all ancillary. I don't think this one really changes a whole lot. You confronted Brett. 76% of people confronted him. Um, I think the same thing happens anyway, regardless of whether you confront him or not, which is disappointing. 56% uh, of people decided to steal in the parking lot? What did I- Oh, I stole the Choco Crisp. Yeah, 56% of us were all going to hell. You didn't beg for food. I didn't even know that was an option because I didn't go to the family first. You didn't steal anything at the gas station. 68% of people didn't. You ran away with Daniel. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear. Oh, wow. Didn't even know that was an option. That felt very naturally that I just escaped with Daniel. Huh. Uh, you called Lila back. 65% of people did, of course. You promised Daniel you won't lie to him again. 92%. 8% of people. How fucking dare you. Uh, Daniel learned about trailblazing. Daniel, okay, these are all just things. Daniel didn't steal anything, 38%. Daniel stole something from Brody, 62%. What did, what did he steal? Did I get, um, Daniel didn't get a power bear toy. Everyone gave up before that. 54, 86, 82, 20. Daniel had an okay night. Daniel was afraid of your stories and had nightmares. Whoops. <laughs> Daniel didn't get mad. I was in the majority for most of them. Except this one. Daniel didn't do the wood race. Daniel lost the wood race. Oh god. I wrecked that poor kid. Alright. Ooh. Come on, man. Focus. Oh, 
Okay. Are we teaching him? Trust me. You can do it. Yeah. Nice. We're teaching him how to use his power. Oh man, that's going to be real fun. Thank you for playing. Get episodes two to five. Next episode as soon as it's released. I will be on that. Don't you worry. Um, I don't know when the next episode is going to come out. I don't know if they've actually talked about it. Um, but that was episode one. Very, very good. That was like three and a half hours long. Damn. Good job. I'm into it. Um, now I'm trying to figure out when did Captain Spirit take place? Like, is Captain Spirit after this? Because now we're going into Snow Place and that's when Captain Spirit was. And in the Captain Spirit game... I can't remember how that ended. I know he was falling towards the ground and Daniel saved him, didn't he? I, I just have like a faint glimpse in my head of how that episode ended and I think it was the two brothers out in the backyard and Daniel saved them because he was like floating and then it looked over at the kids and originally I thought it was Captain Spirit who had the powers and the kids just saw him but when really it was the other way around that they had the powers and saved him. So... I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for watching this. Um, I kind of enjoyed splitting it up into two or three parts. This With this one was three. But I enjoyed splitting it up a bit more as well just so we could... I could get it out there and I could keep it going and I didn't have to go through... Like, having a three hour episode to do and everything without streaming it is, is hard to like get it out on time and get it uploaded and rendered and everything. It takes a long time to do that. So I'm glad I could keep um, pumping it out regularly this way. Um, and it took a lot of the, the pressure off that way. But, um, that was Life is Strange 2, episode 1. I'll be back when episode 2 is out. I don't know when that'll be. It'll be out when it's out. You're gonna have to keep up to date with the Life is Strange Twitter or whatever. I have no idea when these things are coming out, but I'll play it as soon as it releases. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And, I guys all right. Whoopish! Whoopish! Thank you guys, I will see all you dudes! We're gonna have some powers!